you or you think could have been better, should have been better? No. No? I don't think so. You know, I've read some stuff online from Facebook posters, but um, yeah. it feels like what you guys did was good. Okay. It's always nerve-wracking to get that message because kids have cell phones and when they're traveling, you know, they come out, so you hear about it and you want your kid to reach out to you. Yeah. But then there's always that gap. 20 minutes, 30 minutes before you hear the official reports mm -hmm. from the schools. So there's like, there's that uh, wanting to get in your car and drive down there, but knowing that you're just going to be in the way, so it's better to wait. <laughs> yep. So that's that's just nerve wracking. But it's it is what it is in our community. It's I think it's the third or fourth one I've been through over the years here. I think so. There were some fake ones last year throughout eight or nine schools throughout Vermont. I remember. Right. So I, yeah. you don't want to get complacent, but no, I, from what I've heard, it was handled well. No, oh, thank you. Um, if you think of anything we could do better. Sure. No. Um, this is our student proposal. We have a student who um, has is a senior and throughout her time here um, she has felt like the, the bathroom has been like a safe place and a place where she and her friends have spent some time. So she would like to create an art installation to go on the wall in the ladies room. Um, it would be behind, so she even drew in her mock-up, the, the paper towel right. dispenser. Sure. Um, this is her artist statement or her rationale for why she would like to do that mural. I think a lot of it goes back to some of the vandalism that we sustained when she was probably a middle schooler and thinking that making the bathrooms more inviting places to be and and more beautiful places to be will make it harder for students in some ways this may be from my conversation with her not that document but um okay. harder for people to feel comfortable vandalizing so we've had a dramatic reduction in vandalism over the past year and a half um but this could be a next step in the process okay of making the bathrooms more pleasant places to It's a great idea. Yeah. Do you think there could be an encouragement for somebody to do something similar in the boys' rooms too? I think so. Um, yeah, I think we just have to find the right artist. Mm -hmm. So. Is the artist the senior herself? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, she's done an installation, I don't know if you saw it in my newsletter last week, for Deb Shaner's room. Mm -hmm. That's the same artist. Her senior project is around creation of murals. So um, this would not be her senior project. She got all her project hours this summer. Um, she was a marine ecology student. And so for Ms. Shaner, she did a mural based on some of the species that they saw when they were in Key Largo um, and identified them and labeled them and all of that stuff. So. That's great. Um, any feedback about the mural? I think it's lovely and a great idea. And okay. Maybe let's encourage somebody to do one in the boys' room. Yeah, that would be awesome. Or more of the bathrooms. Like, this is just two, two of them, right? Yeah. But yeah, maybe we have other interested art students. I think so, looking too. For that next step, that next level of a project. Okay. Um, so the next item that I have is a proposal linked to graduation. Um, last year, so you may or may not have heard about this, but we, we for the longest time have had a tent for graduation and I'll present this at the senior night at our fall festival and open house as well. Okay. Um, so we, for the first time in a really long time, thought we might have a home playoff game for baseball. Oh. And we were very close. Um, and because our tent, because of where it has to be placed, because of electricity and Wi-Fi, et cetera, um, we would not have been able to host that home game if we had actually had it because of tent placement. In addition, having a tent always makes us worry two years ago we had to move you may have been here we had to move um senior awards night into the auditorium because the sky yes. opened up and there was thunder and lightning I do remember that. if that happened at graduation we would have to try and get everybody into the senior high gym 
So last year there was a forecast, there was like 30% chance of thunder and lightning for the night of graduation, which we were watching super carefully all day long. Um, and we eventually were fine, but every year we wonder and worry. And the tent is very, very expensive. Which I hadn't realized quite how expensive, but it's very, very expensive. Because it stays up um, for quite a few days for multiple ceremonies, right? Right. Well, when we realized, um, back when Katie Sutton was still here, when we realized the cost, um, which if you've planned a wedding in the last decade, you know they're super, those tents are really pricey. Um, we just want to use it as much as we can. Right. So we have sixth grade graduation under there. We've done eighth grade graduation under there. RTCC ceremonies yep. under there and our UHS. So I think we get a good value out of it. Um, but someone proposed to me at the end of last school year that we could see about renting the Chandler Music Hall. Mm -hmm. um, and we looked into that and it does a few things that would be really positive. One, if we get a spring sports home baseball game, we could host it. Mm -hmm. um, which if we ever had to say no to that, that would be horrific right. um, for the kids involved and the families. Um, it takes the variable of weather out of the mix. Mm -hmm. um, it's climate controlled. Mm -hmm. So we've had some years where graduation is super hot and sticky mm -hmm. under the tent. Uh, and we the sound is built into the package. Right. How about seating capacity versus this, like a senior IGM or yeah, so the seating capacity for Chandler is comparable to the tent with one notable exception. The tent allows people to stand around the right. perimeter. Yep. Um, so when I floated this idea by the seniors and what I told them I would do is share my proposal with various stakeholder groups and then we'll, or then we'll send out a survey okay. to families and students um, just to see what everyone's thoughts are. Yeah. Um, what I wondered about is sometimes if there are bigger events at Chandler, so we've had Orcas live stream our graduation and then they save it also for the past couple of years and we would continue to do that so people could either watch from home or we could see about um, showing it on the big screen in the auditorium. Mm -hmm or there's, is it the Esther Mesh Room at Chandler where sometimes they put overflow uh -oh. seating with TVs. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so people would need, be nearby and could still greet students in a receiving line. Um, so those like, were some of the yeah. things we brainstormed. I like the nearby room. I, I remember people standing outside and it was sort of that extended family, younger siblings, that sort of thing, who maybe just didn't want to sit still. Yeah. Real thing, but yeah, I think that's a great idea. So that's what we've talked about. Um, there'll be more to come. Cool. Good okay. process. Thank you. Um, and then I just put any questions from people at this event. So if you have any questions um, or any future agenda items you think we should tackle. I don't at this time, no. I sort of just came to listen. Okay. See what was going on. All right. and, um, I have no topics. Okay. Right. I don't think we have to hang out for anyone okay. unless you would All right. like to.